Hmm. Not bad at all, my friends. Not bad at all. This video is sponsored by LD Player. Hi, welcome to a girl cafe gun. Is that the name? Yeah, it is. I always get the cafe and gun mixed up. I always like girl gun cafe or girl cafe. It's, it's girl cafe gun. Anyway, welcome to a girl cafe gun video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be doing a first impressions, just kind of like a first playthrough of this game. This game, unfortunately, is under a lot of people's radars. Like it's not like your world flipper or it's not really like your punishing gray raven. Unfortunately, there's not overly much much marketing for this one but I think it's an okay thing because I would say that this is uh this game probably hits a particular niche right and it's a niche of like really waifu collecting like I know like we play princess connect well a lot of us do anyway but this one like really takes it to the next level with all the awesome live 2d and all of that however I have only seen like a couple of little snippets of it and like a little bit of the gameplay I'm pretty much going into this like pretty blind and I do know that there is an infinite reroll system and so if you guys are addicted to reroll rolls or gacha like crack like me then like you're in for a good time and so with all of that being said let's jump right into the video okay so to kick things off i did a download and then we have three servers to pick from so wait a second why am i getting more ping to asia than i am to america what the frick in this case i'm still gonna pick asia yeah okay there we go so asia is still at 215 ms i think generally speaking from australia to the asian servers like the asian servers are either gonna be in singapore or japan something like that right but i'm gonna stop rambling let's hit the asia server and let's get into the game apparently this has got like really great visuals a lot of voice wait a second a lot of voice acting a lot of like uh just really high production value right and so as you guys can see this is the first thing i want to say and that is that this game is published by billy billy i believe this is billy Billy's first venture into the global market. And so let's see how exactly they do. I've already noticed like a couple of spelling mistakes before, but like, let's just go for a guest login. Let's not talk about it. Like, let's not be too negative about it. Let's be optimistic going into these games. Okay. Are you sure you want to blah, blah, blah? Yeah, of course. We always go in as a guest to reroll my guys. Right. Am I right? Okay. It looks like we're finally able to get into the game. Let's see what's going on here. This is the story after human beings almost went extinct. What? Wait, isn't this about like managing a cafe? <laughs> wait, wait a second. <laughs> wait, what crystals? Wait, what treasures? Energy crisis? What? Did the power go out at the cafe or something? Bro, wait, why is it called Girl Cafe Gun? Why is it not called like Girl Crystal Gun? Wait, oh, there's a gun in the name. Okay, of course there's going to be combat. All right, I get it. I'm gonna probably skip through this cutscene so you guys can experience it yourself if you would like. Uh, but essentially, this is, I think, a lot of context building because I actually want to get into the game, show you guys the combat, show you guys the gacha system, show you guys all the menus and the cafe itself, right? I'm pretty sure there's a cafe. All right, guys, we are finally in the game. She will shout. Ooh, very wide for you. Okay, Commander, should we attack? Can I live 2D her? Damn it. No, I can't. But she's moving. She's animated. That's freaking awesome. I still don't see my cafe, but uh, that's okay. Th this is, wow. This is, um, this is really good. This is really good art. I think they really went all out on the art budget, huh? However, the first thing I do notice that it is running at 30 FPS, which is a little bit choppy. And this is with the high frame rate mode uh, turned on. Fan of that, like it's really, really noticeable. Like if this was 60 FPS, it'd be super, super dank. However, it might just be the cutscenes. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. The crystals destroy it. What's going on? Okay, I'm just going to skip all of this until we can actually get to somewhere that's not cutscenes, okay? Oh, something is happening here. Oh my lordy. Okay. Hold up, guys. Wait, I didn't sign up for a lewd game. That was a little bit lewd, my guys. That was a little bit lewd, but uh, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, guys, we are finally in the gameplay. Oh, WASD works. Okay, it looks like it's a top-down shooter. So, oh my God, my dead people. My people are dead. Let's keep going. Oh, can I right-click to... Oh no, I right-click to attack. Okay, and then I shift to dodge. Oh my gosh, that's a, that's a really far dodge. Okay, it looks like it dodges to a, uh, a nearby obstacle or something. It looks like it actually... It actually has some smart detection system, right? Okay, Q. Is that my ult? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Are they zombies or are they people? I can't tell, but this is like a... This is a cute little shooter. Can I scroll in? No, I can't see my little character. I think they call this running gun. So, oh my god, wait. What is with these graphics? It's not very good. There's probably a graphics setting somewhere. Um, maybe in the menu settings. Okay. Maybe when we get into the actual like UI and game itself, we can tune this up a little bit because right now it looks really horrible. Okay, this is really embarrassing because like we just had a cutscene and I don't know what to do now. Like I can't get off this platform. I can't use anything. I can use this dash maybe but i can't go anywhere 
Oh, there we go. We've got recommended advanced cinematic. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Wait, this looks way better. Holy crap. But I still don't know what to do here, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. What the freak? Why can't I get over there? So guys, apparently this is an elevator bug that has been present since CBT. Um, uh, I I'm going to have to quickly somehow resolve this and I'll see you guys in the main menu. Okay. All right, guys, I got past the elevator bug by just like restarting the game. It just kept playing for me. Uh, okay. So I think this lovely lady over here wants me to strip her down and by typing my name i'm going to be able to strip her down um yeah we, we are playing that kind of game right now and you know what i'm going to freaking comply and let's just freaking go okay yeah i think this is kind of skirting the lines of like a little bit etchy it's probably a game that you don't want to really be playing in public but i think we've had enough of cutscenes so i'll see you guys in the main menu all right it looks like we have our first bit of interaction <laughs> what the frick <laughs> Oh dear lord. I think for all you light novel players, this will probably be right up your alley. All right, guys, it looks like I've made it up to the gacha. So I'm going to click this guy over here. Guys, we're finally at the cafe. We are finally at... The Wait, was that a cat? Mm, purple. I don't know about purple, man. Purple typically is not the highest rarity. But all right, that, that it is what it... Ooh. Whoa. Okay. You know what? I'll take that. I'll freaking take it, my dudes. I, I take it back. Purple is good. Purple is great. Okay, so it looks like purple is three stars. It's a super rare and probably not the highest rarity. So it looks like this is the team system. So we're just going to add more characters in so we can, I suspect we can probably like switch out people or switch in and switch out people. So this looks like it's just the reward system. I can claim stuff, uh, more tutorial rewards. Can I get onto the unlimited gacha? Hello? Okay, guys, it looks like it wants me to fight again. I think this tutorial is going to be a little while. However, the game is a little bit more stable now and so i can show you guys the combat a bit better it's actually it's actually kind of fun the combat so yeah all right guys here we are in the combat so can i actually switch between the characters oh okay it looks oh my god what the frick just happened to him <laughs> This game is freaking brutal. What the heck? I didn't sign up for this. I signed up to like manage a cafe, not freaking shoot zombies and watch someone get blown up by a spider. But okay, like look at this. Like this is the gameplay. This is pretty fun. We've got the ultimates there. We've got an ultimate there. You can use it to like aim. You, you kind of got to like aim it a little bit. And as you can see, I've cranked up the settings. So like all of the images, like they look really, really good. However, again, it is still frame rate locked to 30 FPS. And so that's why it looks a little bit like jittery. And so yeah, we've just got some like help menus. So like, kind of like a typical called triangle trinity or oh, this kills this rock paper scissors kind of thing you know what i mean uh my god they just come out of the ground it's it's very odd they just come out of ground okay so let me aim this ulti and wait what the f why why did it just go there wait can i oh nope i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it why why is it why does it aim all the way to the back what what the f why did i just shoot it up to where did it go <laughs> That is something that I probably have to work on. Is it that the shorter it is, the closer it is going to be to me? Nope, it just fired off into... I don't even know where. Okay, let's just keep going, my guys. Oh no, not the lab guys again. No, don't kill them. We need to We need to save them. Protect the engineers. No, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. This is incredibly stressful. I'm tanking all the hits so that this guy doesn't have to die. Oh my god, I think he's dead. This is this is a little bit more hardcore than I thought it'd be. Um, I didn't think I'd be playing like defend the in the engineers. But hopefully this is it for this stage and we can just like chill afterwards so we can go back to the cafe and chill. Man, speaking of which, I still haven't seen the cafe, man. Like, where's my cafe? All right, so this is just your end screen. There's actually not too much going here. We're getting levels as we go. We also have like a commander level and then we've got the simple three stars. Like, it's very, very cookie cutter. On top of that, we've got the rewards over here as well as the bonus. It's like, it's like so standard. It, it, if this didn't have this, like, I'd be more worried. So guys, before we keep going, I do have a word from our sponsor. LD Player is a lightweight modern emulator built to play essentially any mobile game on the market. It's got a bunch of sick features, including multi-instancing, 64-bit support, sync operations, one-click root, uh, high frame rate mode, and more. Me personally, I use LD Player for a bunch of my games, such as like World Flipper and Punishing Grey Raven. I definitely use it for like a daily driver. And so if you would like to give it a shot, head down to the description below and click the link to download it. Thank you again to LD Player for sponsoring this video and let's get back to it. All right, guys, we are finally gonna be going into the cafe. Holy crap, it took so long to actually be able able to go to the cafe oh my oh can we actually navigate around make coffee wait hold up wait is this the cafe part of the game you see i know the preferences of every customer that comes here okay so wait oh no 
Do I have to play a mini game? I'm not good at this stuff. Watch carefully. Just like that, it'll be ready soon. Okay, a macchiato. This one's on me. Here you go. And so how do I actually make it? How do I, how do I run this cafe, guys? How do I, wait, 237? Why is it going down? Oh, I think like, so I put up a product and then people go and buy that product. And it looks like it's going to be sold out in about four hours. And so over time, I'm probably going to unlock these slots and I can put more of these coffees up there. So in a nutshell, this is pretty much your dispatch system. Ah, uh, can I poke you? Oh, okay. Can I do other things? Guys, I will just confirm that no matter where you pat her, she is going to have the same response. I'm not saying I did it. I'm not saying I didn't. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. We actually have a cafe now. This is, whoa, this is pretty cool. Okay. Going to check my private messages. Can I click into them? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So this is really like where the, where the coffee is going. So as they dish them out there, it's going down over here. And so we've also got a furniture store. It looks like we can, okay. I'm broke as hell but it does look like we can actually furnish it and change it up a bit i mean you would hope so like for being a little cafe simulator on top of that we got decor over here so this is just like it's pretty much like your base management kind of thing yeah i think that's like really it in a nutshell so it looks like we manage this cafe it looks like we're trying to like churn out a couple of coffees and try to get a whole bunch of people actually like coming and buying stuff so maybe economics do play a part in this however let's go back to the menu and let's have a look for the gadget come on man i need my balls mmm boys there is no claim all button uh, oh wait there is okay guys so this is the main ui it looks like there's probably going to be a battle pass up there on top of that we've got the girls over here so this is pretty much your dormitory where you can manage them probably upgrade skills yeah it looks like that's exactly what's happening here we've got leader skills we've got their normal skills as well as passives a limit break oh it sounds like there is a requirement for dupes. And then going back, let's have a look at this guy over here. Uh, where is it? The shop. So let's have a look at these packs real quick. So special supplies. Oh, do we get a waifu in this one? Oh, look at that. Look, she's even got like three rainbow stars. That's freaking nice. But a swimsuit character on launch for $15. Okay. Okay, I see. So we get a weapon chest. What else do we get? We get character EXP. We get weapon EXP. Do we get any rolls for it? It looks like we get crystal, which is like the money currency. But like, where are the rolls? Oh, we do get this one, which is used to break the level limit of any type of characters. So that's nice. But I guess for 15 bucks. Oh, okay. It's called the recruit growth pack. So it's probably like, oh, we get her. And then we also get the materials to juice her up. I guess in that case, let's keep going. Let's have a look at, oh, okay. What is this? So this is a tenor and this is a also another tenor. Tenor. So it looks like we get temple on the new Oh, we get new clothes. That's pretty nice. I think that's a pretty cool way of doing this. Like cosmetics is the name of the game. And on top of that, we can actually change clothes. So I think if we go back to the main menu, I'll show you guys like a bit later. But yeah, okay. So $20 for like those two times pulls. But personally, I want more clothes. So okay, what about this one over here? So this looks like it's a 20 pull for the clothes for 26 USD. Okay. And okay, we've got a whole bunch of these guys over here. And so I think these ones are like your premium currency, the free earth coins so typically they sit up there yeah okay okay I, I think i've seen it oh wait hold up this is is this the monthly wait is this a one-time only oh okay it is a one-time only thing okay so it looks like the monthly is typically five usd but for the first month it looks like it's one usd okay that's not bad and then you've got like the double top up for the earth coins aka again the premium currency not bad i reckon oh can i can i pat you oh no i can't okay <laughs> Uh, all right, let's have a look at some of the other menus. So I think if I click onto her, we can actually change her out. Yeah, so look at this. You can actually change out their outfits. So that's actually really freaking cool. But otherwise, everything is kind of the same. Supply is probably just like your inventory or something. Let's have a quick look. Never mind. Supply is your gadget. Oh, look at the chibis. The chibi is so cute. What the frick? Okay, I've got to roll now. I have got to roll. Mm, mm, do I have a bias? I don't know, but I'm going to go hit 1-6 because 1-6 is where the unlimited gadget is. I've got to say, guys, I actually kind of like oh look my ult actually hit them <laughs> this time i actually quite like this combat system i don't know why but it's so casual and chill right because it's like auto aiming it's auto targeted it kind of feels like if you guys have seen any blue archive no not blue archive blue protocol no it is blue archive blue archive gameplay it feels like this is what Blue Archive would be if you could control the characters. It's like little 3D chibi girls with guns with chubby legs. Like, But guys, I did want to show you this auto button up here because like, I think that is a cause for concern for a lot of people. Me personally, I'm a big fan of auto, but I'm a bigger fan of skip because if you can auto things, why don't you just let people skip it, right? But yeah, the combat itself is... 
it's really fun. It's like a running gun. It's I haven't played something like this in a in, in quite a long time. Actually, looking at it a little bit closer, this is kind of like a 3D bullet hell. So you can see like all those bullets coming out, and like I gotta avoid every. Oh my lord, yeah, gotta avoid it all. I gotta avoid t with two girls actually. Holy crap! Wait, <laughs> this is really dank. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was a little bit hectic at the end, but like we got there. Oh, I see. I see what we got over here. Although I would say that this is quite a common feature, but I don't typically play games like this where they really, really go in on the whole dating thing. Like everybody loves the protagonist. But yeah, this is cool. So let's rep Oh, okay. How many freaking hurdles do I have to jump through just to talk to my wife? You're like, come on, guys. But yeah, as you can see, we are in a boss stage now. So this is a really, really freaking take. Oh my God, I can't dodge. This is... Oh. Oh God. Oh my Lord. Okay. I think I just need to rebind shift. This isn't this, these controls are not really optimal for like, um, how do I say it for emulator, right? Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay. So I just need to remember to actually use this dodge key instead of like uh, shift because I want to like actually go in a direction. So I want to dodge that way, for example, right? Okay. I don't know why I just dodged into all of those bullets. Uh, forgive me. But yeah, this boss fight is actually really fun. Like this is, okay, it's actually quite easy. And I like that, you know, I like casual games. Oh God, we're almost there guys. We can almost send a text to our waifu. Let's freaking go. All right, so they've actually forced me into these menus. So it looks like we've actually, oh, oh dear, okay. I didn't ask for this, but I'm not saying I don't want this. So yeah. All right, I know exactly what's going on. So it looks like, yeah, we've got a whole bunch of stories to play through. We're probably gonna get like dialogue. Very, very reminiscent of like your light novels. Again, I think this game probably scratches a very certain itch, if you know what I mean. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. All right, it looks like we can finally Oh, well, now I have no regrets in my life. Yeah, I completely agree. I don't really want to spoil it for you guys, but like, let's just say that when I first like came into this game called Girl Cafe Gun, it's not exactly the first thing that I thought it'd be, okay? But it looks like we are finally at the infinite reroll. So let's have a look at this guy over here. All right, so we've got this purple guy up here. And so I believe this is the infinite reroll. Come on, let me get at it. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Oh my God. Okay, 10 times supply. Let's get the guarantee. Guarantee. Where's the cat? Oh, purple again. Seriously? Oh, oh, there we go. That's it. It's the yellow. It's the yellow. Oh, wow. There are a lot of... Oh, okay. I think it's her. I think she is the yellow. All right. Cornelia, blue. So it looks like blues are two stars. Oh, here we go. Here we freaking go. Huh? Wait a second. Oh, it's a new outfit. Oh, that's sick. Okay, 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 okay. Super rare. Okay, oh, okay. It's probably just that cutscene for all the super rares. So is this potentially the ultra rare or the super, super rare or like the mega rare? There, there. You've tried so hard already. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, okay. Just another super rare. And then we've got a whole bunch. And then they, I think this one is the yellow one. So nice. Not, I'm not saying nothing, but nice uh this is probably like one of the main characters sister okay so it's an ultra rare so it looks like the highest rarity in this game is four star yellow ultra rare well if you're not satisfied with the result you can give up the last supplies and start again by tapping 10 times supply of course we're gonna freaking go for like the crack stuff i do suspect that it's probably gonna be rigged to like one yellow two purples and the rest of them blues but let's try again let's just freaking do it okay <laughs> oh man I, I need to see more yellows my dudes okay this looks suspiciously similar to the other one one two and seven Yep. Are we only able to get her? What? Come on, man. I want to see something else. Okay, we can't be that unlucky. Ah, there we go. Okay, so it looks like I'm right as well. So one yellow, two purples, and the rest are blues. Infinite rerolls, my guys. Like, I am a big fan of this. It's only praise for me. I'm just a big fan of publishers that are, like, I think more accommodating or in tune with, like, I guess the meta, right? All right, let's open that bad boy up. Let's have a look. And oh, oh, look. This is actually the banner character from, like, one of the other banners. Da da da. Oh, very nice very nice i do like this main character but like let's keep going let's keep looking at what we can get okay guys so i quickly looked up a tier list and something like this is probably what we're looking for and so this is the tier list in question and so i'll drop it in the description below if you guys like are interested in playing the game and it looks like we got maid moon so she looks like she's a t0 i think in the pool we can only get maid moon we can only get like a bunch of these different maids i don't think we can really get anyone else so i'm just gonna settle with somebody that i actually like for once in this waifu game i'm not gonna a meta chase. All right, I'm just going to settle for something like this. Let's hit the save button. And so we're probably going to get all of these characters. Now, 
What I'm wondering is how many of these outfits do we actually get? And so if I was to come back out and go over to the uh, the button where we can change the background. Oh, it looks like we've got our login event. Let's sign in. Let's get some stuff. We've got a pre-registration event. Oh, we can claim all this, can we? Oh, very nice. It looks like we can do another tenor. You know what? Let's go do another tenor. Let's see what we get. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get a yellow. Open up. Open up the safe. Yeah, nah, it's a purple. It's all purples. This is another one of the ones that were top tier, like the T0 in the tier list. And holy crap, she looks like a completely new character. Wait, I think we actually got pretty rare. Sorry, pretty lucky, I mean. However, this is a super rare. Okay, that's really... Oh, another one. Holy crap. That's a... That's pretty good. Oh my God, guys. It's just maids everywhere. It's just freaking maids everywhere. Oh, geez, man. I, I really can't be caught in public playing this game. So it looks like at 50 pulls, there is guaranteed four star. I think that's okay. I think it's just a four star pity. I don't know if there are any actually like selectors or anything. But yeah, I think that's going to like round out the video pretty well. I'm not sure there's too much left to talk about. It's a pretty basic game. I think any seasoned gacha player would come into the game and be like, oh, okay. Everything kind of makes sense. Oh my God. I got a wardrobe. Can I like dress them up? Oh no. Oh. Oh no, this is not good. Oh yes, oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. We can, oh wow. Heck to the, oh, what's her training suit then? I'm going back to the maid suit, bro. What the frick? Heck to the, yeah, that's what I'm freaking talking about. Yeah, yeah, oh my God, we got so many suits for this lady. I love this, this is awesome. But like, I can't play this game. I can't, I just can't play it, guys. But yeah, I think that's kind of it. I think there is actually a lot of depth to the cafe system. I think the gameplay itself is pretty fun. I think it's really cute. The designs are really nice. And to be honest, this whole cafe system is pretty cute. I'm, I'm actually quite a big fan of it. However, there is like a level of base management and so i completely understand if you guys aren't into that kind of thing i personally hate arknight's base management but like i do like as's one but otherwise this seems like a decent game with a pretty cool story uh, again it got a little bit heavy the visuals are nice the sound is nice you guys won't be able to hear the sound because i don't want to get my ass dmca would again but yeah if you guys do manage to give it a shot let me know what you guys think this was a um this was an experience let me put it that way but otherwise there's nothing left to be said and so let's start wrapping up this video i've got a secret message for you guys and that is is cafe waifus cafe waifus because like this is pretty much a game about waifus that are working in your cafe kind of thing right and so if you guys could drop that secret message down into the comments below i would really appreciate it because it means you've watched up until the end of the video and so thank you guys so much for that but otherwise please consider a like a sub a comment a follow you already know what it is but as irene once said all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye